Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to the Grim, Grim World. And uh, oh, I almost said Grim World for some reason. So. Ah, dear, tongue not working today by the sounds of it. So here we are again. Holiday is just about to go and treat poor Lucky. Once again, our doctor has ended up in one of his own medical beds. He seems to be good at that. Poor Lucky, he just gets treated poorly because the next doctor is actually quite terrible. Let's have a quick look at his health. So. Blood loss, gunshot to the torso, and a gunshot to the right kidney. How nice. Let's hope that doesn't last, because otherwise we're going to have to have a chat with this guy and get a kidney out of him, I think. So, we've just uh, weathered a, a number of attacks, as you can tell by the corpses laid all over the place. Uh, food situation seems to be improving, and we are just about to put a roof on this place and see how that so let's do that straight away. Uh, clear roof, no roof area, so let's just... There we go, so that now is all roofed, but as you can see, it's all brightly lit. These things are still growing, and hopefully, yeah, indoors 9 degrees. So that's actually too cold. So let's see if we can warm that up a little bit. So that's aiming for 21. What's the temperatures outside? Are we actually... Yeah, we're actually getting to the cold time of the year now. So we just roofed that off in just the right time. So I think as, as well as these, heat, these um, air conditioning units, I think we're about to, going to have to put some heater units in there as well. Which is amusing, because you think we're in the middle of a desert. Okay, so we have a pirate merchant and a combat supplier nearby. So I think it is time for us to go and have a chat with Lucky. Where are you, Lucky? There you are. Um, just haul those. Give us one extra thing to sell. As horrible... Oh, okay, you're... You... One extra thing to incinerate, why not? Okay, and... Let's have a chat with the pirate merchant first. <laughs> Arr, ye be after me wares, are ya? Arr. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So we could... No, we couldn't buy Paul. Let's get rid of these weapons. We'll keep the... Sh no, sh do we lose the shoddy pistol? We'll keep the Paul pistol. We'll lose that. We could sell Zephyr. But I would actually like him to come on board. We could use some extra people. And let's face it, this guy has got nothing we're interested in buying. So accept that, and now let's have a check with the combat supplier. Okay. Uh, decent weapons. Your medicine's not badly priced, but I think we've got some. We've got no medicine, so let's buy some medicine. So we'll buy five medicine, that'll keep us going for a little bit. And... We could get a poor weapon, but I don't really feel the need. Okay, we'll just do that. Let's buy some medicine. There we go. And that'll get stored quickly, and away we go. Alright, so... Lose that one, lose that one. Cargo pods. Far away for those. A long, long way away. Do we want to go that far for monkey hide? No, we don't. Do we want to go that far for some lizard? Yes, actually, I think we do. Uh, hunt. That guy. We got any other lizards here? I think I saw two when we were last attacked. I no longer see two. Uh, let's actually let's let's go and see if we can hunt a few get a few things to hunt because we could actually use a little bit of extra food. Don't want to attack the mega scarab because they uh, actually do a lot of damage when they fight back. Uh, just you know, just unfair really. There we go. There's another one. We'll have you and. No camels or anything like that. Uh, 
just actually that reminds me, I was just a uh, conversation with someone a few days ago talking about an old rugby song that I used to know as a kid, which sang about the Sphinx in Egypt and how once a year all the camels in the desert had to make a journey to make love to the Sphinx. Which explains why the Sphinx has that enigmatic smile. And the camel has the hump. Okay, I can't see anything else, so let's, let's move on. We've got loads of stone. What have we got lots of? We've got limestone. Um, let's, let's do a little bit of building, shall we? What was that? Oh, just low food. Okay, yep, yeah, that's one of the reasons why we're off hunting. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's claim this bit of... Okay, and that is limestone as well, so that's excellent. Okay, so... Let's just build some walls here. Structure. Limestone block walls. Down like that. Like that. And... Do we want to do this? I'm worried that that's going to generate heat. I should imagine it will. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we'll do that. And let's also order deconstruction. Let's get a door in here. So I'm thinking they're going to make this a crafting area. Let's now get some crafting bits and pieces done. At the moment, the only thing we're doing is making stones. And we're not doing a huge amount of that, to be totally honest with you. So how are we doing in here? Right, this is 12 degrees, which is actually a good growing. An iguana is attacking after being harmed. Okay. Right, what's that? Okay. Well, why not? Let's do that. I think I might have accidentally created a... Yeah, I think I might have accidentally created a couple of growing zones. But uh, never mind, they will use them uh, because we are short of food. So where's this? Seraph is coming second to the iguana by the looks of this. Right. Okay, let's, let's, let's do it this way. Yeah, okay, you're shooting it, which is not going to work. So draft and melee attack the iguana. There we go. Mm. Almost came second there, didn't you? Alright, okay, so let's undraft you. Uh, let's get this thing dead. At least you're not missing at this rate. Not surprising that Sarah's feeling injured, so let's get you back to base. Let's have a quick look at your health. Yeah, loads of scratches. You'll be alright. You will be alright. We will get you sorted out quite quickly. Bulk goods trader. Alright, looks like we're going to have a lot of work for Lucky here. So, you, know, you think we're going to have to wake you up, unfortunately. So, prioritise treating Seraph. Okay, let's do a good job of that. Okay, yep, yeah, that's that's good. You're a good healer. No doubt you do all right. That's your Seraph now. Yeah, mostly well healed. A couple of 40 healed, and yeah, we'll let you sleep, and we'll do that in the morning. What we'll do is we'll have a look at this bulk goods trader because the bulk goods trader is actually someone I wouldn't mind spending money with. Getting some wood would be nice. Um, I should imagine the wood we've got is shoddy quality anyway. Perhaps trade some of this um, leather for better leather. Um, because we need to make some decent... Uh, we need to make some decent clothes. That's one of the complaints that everybody has is poor quality clothes. Lucky, how you doing? Uh, 
No, I don't think he's buying it. Okay, so... That's a shame, we can actually use that hold, but let's... Uh, let's call the bulk goods trader. Okay, right, let's get rid of this iguana skin. There's four iguana skins, not much use to us. We've got 96 wood. And we should actually buy some of that. Mm, we'll buy some cloth. In fact, that would probably hurt, uh, do us a lot of good, actually. Let's get ourselves a let's get ourselves a hundred units of cloth. Uh, hundred. Okay, that's only cost us hundred and forty-four. That's not too bad. It's only a guana skin. We'll keep the atromedy leather because we want some leather, and we can actually sell a little bit of this plastic because we've got a lot of it. And it sells quite well. So actually, yep, yeah, let's sell off the pastel. There we go. That's actually just given us a um, a net profit there. And sells anything we want? No, that'll do. Accept that. Okay. Um, the building is going on here. So let's get some of the power situation sorted out. Let's just put that across there like that. There we go. And actually, one thing about structure. Still a wood door. Oh, yeah, a wood door and a wood door. Temperature isn't that high in there. Okay, that's all right. Okay, now, food is still relatively low, but quite frankly, that's getting better. Uh, we're getting more food stockpiled now. We're not giving it all away. This place is still quite cool, so actually let's get another building option older here. So temperature, let's put in a couple of heaters. And between that lot, what we want to do is just get this room up to about 20 degrees. These are cool it when it gets too hot. We make toggle power. How are we doing for power? We are still very comfortably in a positive. I think we're doing all right there. Is this built yet? This is built yet. Okay, that explains a lot of it. So I think we're doing quite nicely there. Let's speed things up a little bit. So our greenhouse is working and stuff is growing. No complaints about temperatures. Yeah, that's looking all right. We got some of these these extra potatoes planted, which yeah doesn't hurt, does it? And rice is growing nicely. Yep. Food being sorted out here. Still unhappy with our medicine supply. And I'm we haven't even started growing cloth or hops yet, which are really important. This these trees are growing dreadfully slowly, but that's not that surprising. Let's get rid of these corpses. Lucky. Uh no place can fit the store. Uh, zone. Right. No. Okay. Right. Our orders. Zone area. Okay. And we want a dumping stockpile. Do it like that. And in here, we shall place. Okay, we shall place corpses. We shall place human like corpses. Uh, and a commerce corpse. No, we won't allow colonist corpses, so we will just put stranger corpses in there. And. Apparel. We shall put in. All apparel. Apart from power armor. Armor vest. And power armor helmet, those are all expensive. We should only put those in there if they are of awful to shoddy quality. We'll keep poor, but we'll, we'll, we, we will cremate shoddy. And now, lucky if I've configured that right.
So why can't I put you that into your place configured to store it? What's this place then? Storage. Why am I not? Okay, allow. Now rotten? Is that what I need? No empty place to go. I'm that stranger corpse is human corpse. I'm not understanding this. And I don't really want these corpses lying about. Alright, okay, we'll have to. I will look into that next uh, between episodes, I think, because that is actually going to be a real problem. It's going to keep us... Um, that's going to get people really grumpy and not good at all. So we get this... Actually, when we get this built, we'll start moving some storage into there. Get all this leather and uh, stuff, and then we'll start getting people making clothing, which is going to be very important to us. I think it's actually time we started putting some flooring down as well. How are we doing on the materials? So we've got slate. Slate would be alright. Okay, so. Uh, floors. Okay, we've got IEDs. We're going to have to start looking at that. Machining. Yeah, let's do machining. Okay, so where are we? Floors. Slate tile. That sounds nice. Let's do some slate. There we go. Right, okay, and a group of pirates from Godlessness Party have dropped right on top of us. Okay, that's not necessarily a bad location for them. Draft. Holiday. I want you to hide. Uh, Hi there, thank you. Right, okay, now. Ben. I gave you a weapon. Did you lose your weapon? Okay, well, it looks like you're lurking as well then. Um, Seraph, you lurk in that doorway there. Lucky, you work, look in, lurk in that doorway there. And... Ben, let's see if we have time. Let's get you there. Because let's face it, these guys are gonna have to thump their way out out, out of the doors. Um, I don't. Mm, no, okay, I can't have them create the fires, right? So, David, uh, Lucky, I want you to go here, and Sarah, I want you to go here. Davis, I want you to back him up, and Ben, I want you to back him up. So I want you to go there, and Lucky, I want you to go there. Go there. Ben, melee attack. Brilliant, okay. Dark Eye's not going to last much longer. Excellent, alright. Um, let's undraft the lot, yeah. Ben, uh, you need to have a weapon. So you go and. Oh, it annoys me when it does that. Yeah, of course. I want to con I, I want to highlight the power conduit, not the Prussian standing on it. <laughs> Equip the pistol. Rest you guys. Put the fires out. Good work. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, uh, everyone else is going to bed. Ben, I'm afraid I've got a little job for you. Okay, strip him. Strip him. Right, that's a poor quality 
shotgun, but it's actually better than what you've got. So equip the shotgun and strip him. There we go. Right. We'll get that sorted out. Uh, we'll get that sorted out. Uh, I'll probably I'll do that between episodes. Right, that was uh, fairly painless. A little bit of repairs need to be done. But other than that, Seraph has gotten sick from play. Oh. Okay, this is a problem. I keep on forgetting that Lucky is my healer. So, right, prioritise treating Lucky. Let's do that first. Okay. Lucky gets some poor treatment. Prioritize treating Seraph. There we go. I'm sorry, get you out your sick bed, but I've got to get you out your sick bed. And that's all our medicine used, actually. It's a little bit worrying. How are these growing? Very slowly. There we go. All right, uh, still. All right, what's the temperature in here? Temperature is 21 degrees, which is exactly what I want. This is all going to be an ideal growth route. Yeah, okay. Okay, right. That is, I think, where we're going to end there. I'm going to work out why on earth I can't get these corpses cremated. But I will do that off camera, because otherwise it's going to get really boring, I should imagine. Uh, so, until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons, this has been The Room World. Thank you, and good night.